Hey Jerrell, how's everybody doing today? Today it's time for our quarterly favorites and I'm going to sneak in quarterly empties as well because I don't have that many. Um, a good chunk of them are part of my no buy updates because some of them are part of that but then there's some other things that I use up so I thought I would add that as part of our quarterly favorites because it'll only be a snippet that I can do at the end. And uh yeah, so let's begin. So first off, I used a little bit of almost everything that I bought this quarter and have been enjoying this quarter. Um, the majority of it is actually new, and then there are a few things that have been around for a while, but they're new to me. So I think, the, I think let's go with the earliest purchase of the year and that would be the Nomad Cosmetics um what is it the Nomad Lodge Whistler Lodge there we go Whistler Lodge too many words on here so anyways this is the Whistler Lodge palette you are going to see that um when you when you see the palettes that I'm showing that I that I did break down or had them as part of my um low buy, no buy, you're going to see I'm liking a certain color story. But this is the color story of the first palette that I got for the year. And I used for this eye look, I used this in the bottom inner inner part. I used this one as brow bone highlight and then this one here right in the inner 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 corners. So that's what I used. Oh and then I used the black on the outside. I really like the black in the Nomad palette. So I used that to create my wing. So and then when I bought that they were having a sale. So this product's been around for a while but um, yeah, because I'm mostly known for eyeshadows, but I know they've done a few blushers and things. And then I saw this on sale as they were discontinuing, and I thought I would give it a try. And it's the Nomad Sydney Bather, and this is kind of like a highlighter, um, bronzer, blush topper. I like to use this one as a blush topper palette, and I really been enjoying this. I've used this as a blush topper a lot. I've got that on myself today. I've used this highlighter and I've actually um, used the bronzer a little bit, but because I'm working on a, on a cream bronzer and a other powder bronzer, I didn't use it too much, but definitely I've been really loving these two and I will get to using these a little bit more. So for $9.99. This is, was a fantastic deal and I really enjoy it. So like I said, I'm using the latest pinkish color, which is Balmoral Beach, as a blush topper today. So the next thing in the pile, I believe, would be from my Beautylish. And this is the Eyes to Mesmerize and it is the Smoky Eyes Are Forever palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is a quarterly favorite, but it's an okay favorite. It's not at the top of the line, and I'll just kind of show you why. And it just is the color story. It is very, very neutral. I do, of course, like the greens that are in here. And definitely if I'm going to do a going to a meeting or I wanted a really light, quick look, this is this is definitely a palette that I would go to. The quality is great. It's Charlotte Tilbury. It's just generally not a normal color story that I would choose, but it was in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. I am happy to have it. And like I said, I really like the quality. The packaging is beautiful. I look at that. Sorry about the fingerprints. I do really like this, but it's just not going to be for me an everyday thing because I'm a bit of a color hoe. So there you go. Uh, so next in order, yes, this would be the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette. There we go. And again, we're, you will notice when I show the colors that, um, oops, there with the plastic, there's a lot of similar kind of tones that was in the Whistler palette. And by that, I mean like the nice shimmery blues and dark blue. So the blue portion of this palette, they kind of look a little similar. Let's see, let me show the two together here. Do, do, do. 
So you'll see what I mean. There's a few, not exactly, but I mean just color-wise, color story-wise, color story that I've been kind of getting really into blues. So there are some blues in here. I really love this palette. And then from this one, I have the dark blue that I used on my lid for blending some of the shimmers. And then I used in the middle of my lid this blue shimmer here from this palette. And uh, yeah, I really, really love it. I love everything Lois. So of course it will make it part of my quarter, quarterly favorites and probably part of my yearly favorites. But there we go. And I'm um, not finally, but we'll say finally for eyeshadow palettes, I got the newest Lethal Cosmetics collection. And this one was the Night Flower collection. I really, this is really, really beautiful. I really like Lethal. It is becoming one of my favorite brands. I have rearranged the color story now. It is not exactly how you will see it. Um, if you look at it online, there were a few colors, the way they were placed kind of made me nuts. So um, when I had done this order, I knew this by seeing the pictures online that I wanted to move a few things around. So I went and I got their metallic um, tool for depotting shadows. So I could use that to move these around. So I really like it. It has, um, has um, shimmers, multi-chromes, duochromes, and mattes. I love their mattes. I like their shimmers. Um, I would say the duochromes and multi-chromes, they're not super, super transitioning, I feel, except for maybe this blue one. But I went on what it looked like in the pan um, when I was basing my should I buy this color story or not, and I'm totally happy that I did. And then the lightest blue that I have right there, right there, that is from this palette here. And again, you can see I've been liking these blue, you know, these light, light blues and medium blues. So they work all actually nicely together, as you hence so that I can see that I got this eye look. Also part of this collection, there were four different of their eyeliners. I got two of them and I love, I love their liners. I would love to have all of them. I got them in Polarity and Fidelity. So a purplish one and a blue one because these are colors that I've been really gearing myself to recently. And then they also had three different multi-chrome highlighters and I'm seriously kicking myself for not buying all three, but I did buy the one that would be in the color that I really like. That's what I'm wearing today. I don't know if you can wear the shift because I do have a lot of sparkly pinks, but I bought the one that had the greenish shift in there and that one was called Halo. So another reason I use the depotting tool, I had um, this highlighter in a single package and I had a couple blushes, so I wanted to put all the highlighters that I had together and then the two blushes that I had together. So, but anyways, Halo was the one that I got and I love it. And like I said, I really wish I got the other two now. And same thing too with the eyeliners. I wish I got the other two colors just because I love their eyeliners. I have um, polarity in my waterline. And uh, yeah, so maybe another time if I'm doing an order, they are having a free, or they had, I don't know when I'm posting this, probably Sunday, so it may still be on the free shipping weekend. So anyways, I was almost tempted, but remember, no buy, low buy. So, and then I think we had one, two more things that I got this quarter. One is the um, skin tint that I have on now. Um, it's been around for a while, but it's new for me, was the Tarte Maracuja skin tint. And I really like it. I'm gonna put this into the okay pile. I like it. Will I rebuy it? I'm not sure yet because I'm still digging the medium coverage, full coverage life, but um, I'm not unhappy that I bought this and had I bought a bigger bottle, I wouldn't have been unhappy, but I am definitely glad that I got this smaller size. I use this a lot more when I was wearing masks a lot more for, you know, so I'm not using a, a full coverage com um, foundation and then having it rub off on the mask. So just having a little bit all over to even skin tone was really helpful for me. And then I think last but not least for quarterly favorites is brand new to me. I just posted up a video. I'm putting it in here because I know that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I'm actually using it as cheek blush today. This is quite the multi-use 
product. And this is the Opaques from Suba Beauty. I have the yellow, the pink, and the black. I really did wish I bought the UV one and maybe even the gloss that they had so I can use these as lip products. They also had a red and a light blue. The light blue I sent to my friend Teresa Mulhern in Ireland, so I'm hoping it won't take too long to get to her. And reds, I don't use them as much, and I do have some. I have um, red cake liner from Suva, and I think that will last me, but you never know. If I do another order, I may pick up the UV or pick up the red or maybe even the blue one for myself. But again, because I had bought um, some blue liners recently, I was thinking, okay, let's pick to some colors that I've not bought a lot of recently. And uh, yeah, the black I had tried as a mascara before, not today, but um, from the look, so I'll try to remember to post a video for it. So it worked really well as a mascara, especially the bright colored ones. If I had a blue, I would have done that as a mascara, but I just wanted to try with a safe color the first time I tried it, and yeah, it worked really well. Um, the yellow, I did a really great eye look with it, and then I also mixed in with some pink on the lips for that look, but not today. Um, this is just a Fenty... Um, one of the lipsticks, but I did use the pink with just a smidge of the yellow to just take it a little bit down in tone. It's still pretty nice bright pink. And then of course I have the topper on top, but there you go. So this is going to be a nice short video for me today. This is just my quarterly favorites. Hey, editing me here quickly. I forgot to add to my quarterly favorites. Lily and Fox nail wraps. I've been really liking these. Um, my nails have been really crappy because I'm trying to get over gel nails and I've been just starting to use these wraps. They're really cute. These are the ones that I got for St. Patrick's Day. They're like $2.99 to $3.99 and uh, yeah, usually free shipping. I really like them. So I bought, I bought some earlier in the year and then I rebought some um, about a month ago and I've been really loving these. So if you've been looking for something to, if you don't want to use nail polish or you don't want gel nails but you want some cute designs, these little nail wraps are really good and I highly recommend. So there we go back to the rest of the video. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about my empties really quick. So if um, that's not what you're into, we will see you soon. And if you are, you're just gonna keep on watching. I'm gonna be back in two secs. All right, we're back. So it's gonna be really quick. Some of these would have been in possibly my last months or maybe even January's um, low buy, no buy update. And some of these will not be. So I finally finished my Tresemme hairspray. I'm really a big fan of Elnet, but sometimes when um, it's not on sale and a different brand is. I'll try a different brand and I really did like this Tresemme. It lasted a really long time. It was good. I always get them in the highest, um, the firmest hold. There we go. And then I got this one in climate control because I get frizzy hair really often so it did help a little bit with that. So it was not too bad. So you've been wanting to try it. That's a great everyday hairspray. I was happy that I finally used it up so I can go back to my beloved Elnet. I um, I love a dose of color skincare. This is the Energizing Serum. I had bought, um, so I bought this last year and I tried it and I really, really loved it. And then when they had a sale for Black Friday, I bought two more and this is one of the two that I bought. So I'm just holding out on the other one till I finish something else up and then I'm gonna go back to this. So this is their Energizing Serum. I really enjoyed that. Um, let's see, I'm trying to do some things that I didn't do on my other empties, and I think that, oh, nope, the last thing that wasn't part of my just regular panning was this lip mask from Milani. I really enjoyed it, as you can tell, I used the whole entire thing. I'm currently finishing up one from another brand, which his name is Escapes Me, and then I'm going to be going on to a, oh, Barry M, and then I'm going to be going on to a Kaleidos one, but if you're in a market for a cheap lip mask. I really liked that. And then just we'll go over these ones quickly because they were part of my project pan. It was the um, powder, Sleeping Beauty Powder by Besame. So that one got all used up. I used the Cover FX Setting Spray. Um, oh, here's another skincare item. So I had bought three of the Pixie Toners. I've gone through 
two out of the three. And uh, this one, um, I can't remember what this one. Oh, it's the retinol toner. I like this one. I think this is the one that I would get again. Um, I went through a lip balm from Juvia's Place. One of my favorite mascaras is the e.l.f. Big Mood. So this is my second one and I'm on my third one right now. I have, I've decided to, it's quite, it's expired. So we're going to call it an empty. So this was part of my project pan is a tart eyebrow, but it was starting to smell off. So I have decided not to use it anymore. I finished up my highlighter by um, the balm. There's a teeny bit left on the bottom, but it's kind of really sticky and dry. So I thought, okay, well, I've used three quarters of it. It's just the last little bit kind of squished to the bottom. So I thought we can stop that. Oh, I do have another thing in here. This is the Brighton Eye Cream by The Inky List. I do like this. It's the one that has the fun little applicator on there. It's not bad. It's not bad. You just go through this one really quickly, but I love their retinol one. So if I was going to recommend one of the Inky List eye creams, it's the retinol and you can use it all over your face, not just for under your eyes. It's a nice gentle retinol. I finished up a Stila blush, nice cream blush. So now I'm working on a Fenty one. And finally, lastly, I finished up the Tone Activated um, eye primer by Kaleidos and right now I'm using a Juvia's Place one in my project pan because again I'm trying to get down to for basic items one of everything eyeshadow palettes I will forever have probably 12,000 of them um, so anyways that's it for me that is my quarterly favorites my quarterly empty so now I can recycle the ones that are applicable and that's it for me I hope you're doing amazing you're making good choices, you're still wearing masks in really busy places, and if you'd like to give us a like, comment, and subscribe, it would be absolutely amazing. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends, we can still nosy around my empties and see what every quarter I've been loving that I bought or I have been using. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!